What, what was Tolkien's thoughts on uh, on Narnia? You know, to- uh, Tolkien had uh, a very negative reaction to Narnia when he first heard it. Right. So he uh, heard the first three chapters of the chron- of the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe mm-hmm. read out loud mm-hmm. by Lewis. And he went away uh, mumbling under his breath that this book was as bad as bad can be. Now, that's pretty harsh <laughs> criticism, <laughs> you know. Um, I don't know. And, and Lewis was flabbergasted. He did not expect this uh, <laughs> response. And so Lewis literally threw the manuscript in the trash. Wow. And then a couple of days later, he was chatting with another friend of his, uh, Roger Lancelin Green, and and uh, Lewis was kind of laughing. It's like, yeah, I started this children's story. It's a total bust. I just tossed it away. Tolkien hated it, you know. Mm. And Green was like, can I see it, you know? And so they fish it out of the garbage. And back when they didn't have the cloud. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it backed up. It wasn't backed up on Dropbox. It was not backed <laughs> up. And so... Um, you know, Green listens to it and he says, you know, I think you might be on to something here. I think mm. that there's some real potential. But the question is, why was Tolkien so offended, right? And people say, well, he didn't like the Aslan lion thing. In the first three chapters of Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, there is no Aslan, mm. right? Aslan hasn't even appeared yet. All you have is uh, Lucy goes through the wardrobe, talks to Tumnus, and goes home. Mm. And it's that scene, the scene with Tumnus, that apparently offended Tolkien so much. And so there's lots of arguments and discussions about why Tolkien responded so uh, vehemently against that. But what's interesting is that later in life, Tolkien um, actually came to at least admire uh, the book, so much so that he would buy sets of the Chronicles of Narnia and share those with family and friends. And what he says later in life is not, it's as bad as bad can be. He says, it remains outside of my sympathies, and I am a man of limited sympathies. So he really <laughs> kind of switched on it, and um, and that, again, is after he'd had a chance to really encounter the full um, series. So what mm. changed for Tolkien is something that uh, people are still trying to figure out. Hey, everybody. Kyle here from the Babylon Bee. We hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, head on over to our YouTube channel, click like, subscribe. The little notification bell. You can be notified when you get uh, we do a new video. We do cartoons, animation. We have a weekly podcast, a news show, all kinds of fun stuff. So check it out. Subscribe, share, do all that cool stuff.